You said you've lived in shelters ever since you were a little boy. What's that been like? Like, when did you first go to a shelter? When I was about like nine years, eight years old. Okay. And I kept on moving and moving and moving and moving and moving and moving and moving. moving. Uh huh. And now you're 13. If people didn't hear earlier. So, oops. Let me just see. Sorry. We have this some technical oh. difficulties. This is called. Oh we were having some difficulties too, Don. Technical right. difficulties. Now we're back. We're back. Let's let's really okay, focus now. We're focused. So I don't know how to get you to try to start telling stories, John. But I want you to try to tell because one of, the other thing you said to me is that you didn't think people would be interested in your story, but I think people are because it's really hard to imagine what it's like to not really have a home, right? And and to have temporary housing, as you've said. Why are you putting your hands in yours? So, so can you kind of break that down? What's it like to have temporary? How do you want to say that you're homeless or you live in a shelter? Or you don't like that word. I kind of guessed that. But So what are you? How do you describe yourself? You live in temporary housing. Looking at me funny. Well, I'm a boy. Yep, that's it. I like that. What else? <laughs> okay. And you live with your mother? Yes, I live with my mother. Okay. Okay. And and can you describe the place where you live a little bit? Well, it's like it's just like a regular hotel. Uh -huh. It's just small. Like a regular smaller hotel? Yeah. Anybody who's been to a hotel, you know what I mean. And you've lived there how many months? Six this months. Time. Six months this time? What's your mom and your goal? Would you wanna, where do you want to live? I don't know. No? Okay. So this is hard to tell and hard to explain somehow. Well, let me ask you this then. Sometimes because of what happens where you and your mom live, it's hard for you to do schoolwork. Is that fair? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And so what happens that makes it hard for you to do schoolwork? Because mm. you're a great guy. We all love you. But sometimes it's hard to do your work. No? Okay, what's true? Nothing. <laughs> okay. All right. So I wasn't sure how this is going to go, and it's kind of like you're willing to tell stories. I'm not sure how to get you to open up a little bit, though. So what do you think is the most, for somebody who has, like, their own, lives in their own home with, with a you know, family, and they have their own bedroom and all of that, What's the most important thing that you want them to know about how you live? Well, I know what that's like. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what that's like. Everybody knows that, like. Yeah. Except, but I'm just trying to say, you know, like, you know, be appreciative, you know. Be appreciative of what, of what you have. Yeah. Okay. Can't get everything at once. Take time. Uh huh. Okay. So. So quiet. <laughs> yeah. Anybody there have any questions to, to ask John? Any thoughts? <laughs> What's up? There you Stop. Go. <laughs> How's your day going? There you go. This is so okay. It's all right. That's nice. What'd you do today? Nothing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get in here, Jester. He has a beard. He's a. Beard. What the? Just a little echo. That's okay. Echo, echo. Yeah, it's okay. Those guys in there. They're probably good. 
So he looks like the white version of Michael Jackson. So John, <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying that to David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if you feel some. Mm, sorry. Some type of way. Huh? Nothing. I thought it was funny. It's kind of cool. That was hilarious. <laughs> so, John, I have an idea. You're wearing your New Directions t shirt today. Um, what's, what's New Directions like compared to other schools you've been in? Um. <laughs> Just a normal, plain school. Yeah. But only with computers. Yeah. Okay. Got some computers. Yeah. Huh? So we got some computers. We got this thing. What's that, man? Oh, they're figuring it out. Don't worry. It's just uh, some echo with, with how they're doing. Echo. Echo. So let me go back. Let me. I'm gonna keep trying here, right, for a little bit, and it's okay if it's hard at first. I think it's okay. Um, you were eight or nine when you first went to temporary housing. Is that is that what you'd like me to call it? What? You don't want me to talk with him here? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I just want to say that. Could you do this room later? I'm sorry. Okay. I want to say that I agree with what you said. About I can't hear you. We have to come Oh, right here. Sorry, one more time. Yeah. I I was just saying that like I agree with what you were saying about uh, being appreciative because it's really important to be appreciative and sometimes it's easy to take things for granted. So I thought your input on that was good. Uh, connect pound. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. You have to do it at the camera. Oh, boom. There you go. <laughs> All right. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay.